How's it going guys? Welcome back to Swords and Souls Never Seen. Since the previous episode, like episode 5, I finally released a video that I was working on for quite a while. I have a series that I call Flashlight, which is looking back at the history of old Flash games, Flash animators, uh, studios, websites, anything related to Flash essentially, and I did an episode on Soul Game Studios. It's not specifically on Never Seen, but I do kind of use that as a framework. I was able to have an interview with uh, the developers and everything, and I had stitched some of that into the video. It's pretty short, it's only like 10 minutes. I, I should put a card up in the, in the top right corner of the video here. You guys can click that to go and check it out right now. I highly recommend it. It's really cool to hear about the development process of this series. And I'm gonna make sure it's in like the end cards of all these videos. So like in the, the bottom right I'll, in the end cards I'll have the next video in this series. So like, you know, this is episode 6, it'll link to episode 7 when it's available. And then that one to the left is going to be that flashlight episode. I highly encourage you guys to check it out. It was super fun to work on. I, I really love working on that series as a whole. And if you guys are fans of this series and studio and, and want to know more about it, then yeah, that video is going to be going to be right up your alley. That's enough pumping my own tires there. We can, we can get back to the game now. <laughs> my apologies for the infrequency of uploads of this series. It just takes a long time. You gotta do all the different like grinding and, and playing out the different training mechanics and doing battles and everything. It ends up as really long recording sessions that I then have to whittle down. So it takes a little bit longer. I have to set aside more time to do the recording. It makes it harder to find time to record. It delays things, and my apologies for that. I don't like having to wait so long between episodes either, so we'll try and try and pick up the pace a little bit. One thing, though, is that when I take these times away from it, these l short little breaks, everything like that, uh, different updates for the game roll out. So I don't know specifically what's been added recently, I just know that there have been additions made. Maybe we'll notice little things here and there. For only 10, yeah, I'll buy the bat. Cuda. I don't know how to pronounce that. And I'm nowhere near affording any of that, so not gonna bother right now. Couldn't if I wanted to. I personally just- oh, well, crap. Well, <laughs> I personally just think bats are really cool, so now that I have the bat book, I'm gonna go fetch one and probably play around with using the bat for the next little while. I just gotta stop killing everything if I want to do that. I don't know where to go where there is tougher bats to fight. That was in the slippy tunnels. The cave might have slightly higher level things, but it's not going to be by much. And it's just gross novels. Man, I forgot how gross these little guys look. E Q Q E W. There, I, I screwed it up once. Now I got it. Now I got it locked in. I should be able to catch this guy. Sweet trophies, tamer beginner for catching my my third third animal. I had someone in the comments specifically say, of multiple people, that it was annoying that I hadn't spent these points. I will make sure I allot that very shortly here. That's a lot to go around. That's a lot to be sitting on. I could immediately invest 2,000 in each of these, or I, I could give it more thought than that. It would probably have made the last pair of episodes go by quicker, because I had to spend so much extra time training because I wasn't taking the easy, quick level up option. Pet Garden, I'm gonna recruit Zuby. I'm gonna give him a Radish. Just because I have never done that and I was curious how much it would level him up by, it's pretty noticeable. You can have one too, just because you're kind of trailing behind a little bit. I have a second one. 99's a good, nice number to be sitting at. Zuby, you're coming with me though. You know what, a good place to start an episode is carrying on with the beginning of the next chapter to see kind of how far I can make it just with my current stats. So we're going to go with the Queen's Huntress. I probably should have recruited someone at the bar to come along with me, so I guess I'm going along without that. The Crescent Huntress. I'm just I'm just really going for it, committing to the, the arrows here and everything. Zuby, good to see you stepping up, man. It was, uh, that was really, really well done. Just aces all around. Whatever, the, how much was that that you did? Oh, he can, he can like debuff them and everything too, so that's cool. Maybe that is a little cooler than I was giving him initial credit for, even if it did seem uh, just ridiculously low damage. It's gonna be. He's a newbie. He's still learning the, the, the road, the tropes. 
the the life on the road here. He's gonna be totally new to this as a situation. I should I should be more forgiving. Ah, I was too slow on that. These guys have a lot of health, actually. Well, yeah, they're closing in on a million. They got noticeably more than I do. I gotta try and bank on counters as much as possible, but even then, I'm thinking this might already be, like, the end of the road for me. I don't see myself making it much further than this battle, if at all completing this one. Zuby's out of the picture. Maybe if I had recruited a bar mate to come do some battling with me, but alas, I did not. So I kind of have to go one man it. Luckily, I've upgraded the amount of times I can do blocks and counters and everything. Nice! I didn't expect the final showdown to be just versus one person. I always get that wrong. I always get that wrong when it's like, um, the, these knife things. <laughs> That's a new one. Ah, I can never get the timing of the counter right. I got a, a little bit more practice. Nice, the double, double critical goes a long way. I'm just gonna keep dishing out poison and everything. It's really nice and easy when you can focus all of that on one enemy like this. So that kind of helped that go a lot further. I didn't take anywhere near as much damage as I thought. Whew, that went pretty well overall, I'd say. Look at that. I, I, I kind of wanted to do these first few battles as well, because then you can roll in that extra cash that you can then immediately spend upgrading your training grounds to make your training more efficient. So I think it's worth the time to try and take on these first few battles and, and get as much out of that as possible. Backlash was the name of this battle. Arrgh! You hurt Ragzul! We hurt you! Oh yeah? Well, I have something to say about that. Does no one here care about my opinions? I did a terrible job dodging that. Couldn't have dodged that. There we go. A little bit of a, <laughs> little bit of a mix up there. Didn't come together totally. Totally as planned. Lucky Dodger, hey? I think that was skill. I don't know why we're chalking that up to luck. Super Bash. Oh, that's just what that move's called. <laughs> It felt real exciting for a second until I realized it's like a very standard, regular thing. Damn, dude! That's too much! I, I, I'm not cool with that amount of healing, and I don't like the fact that there's two healing characters here. I gotta get that down to one so I can kind of focus up a bit. I should- maybe I should use the shield sooner than I have been. I keep kind of like relegating it to uh, something that I spend- spend points on quite late in battle. One thing that's crossed my mind, and I maybe have uh, discussed this before or mentioned it before, I don't know if you can train or eventually make pets out of, like, orcs. My assumption is no, but I don't have a lot to go off of there. I just wanted to finish that guy off nice and quick before he started busting out anything fancy against me. Ah, chuck a quick poison on there. I wonder if I should just... When it's a one-on-one -on -one like that, this early in a showdown, like now, I wonder if I should just try and absorb, like, a ba uh, an attack or two. Just, like, flex the abs, let it happen. Still does a fair amount of damage. I have such a good stockpiling of dodges and counters at this stage in the game, because I've, I've invested in those, that maybe it is worth it to just, like, counter and dodge every possible thing. It's nice to have the pet to kind of absorb some damage. I know when you buy a new pet at the store, that's not the sort of thing you should be looking for. <laughs> that you should maybe uh, care more about whether you uh, your personalities fit and whether you think that you have the capacity to love that animal or things like that. But in this stone cold world, I realized at the last second I was guarding and I realized I was going to need to be a dodge on that one. Um, that maybe maybe there's things other other than that that you need to be considering other than love and that's how much health do you have and how how well can you take a punch <laughs> these are the sort of things I look for in a pet a pet that I never even bothered to name that just shows how close we are the amount of skills and stuff I can bust out between his attacks is so numerous that never throughout that did I even come close 
to burning through my counters and dodges. It's crazy how far that stretches. Something, something just came to mind. Uh, it's totally random why it popped in mind. Weird brain strain that just happened. That I totally forgot about. I feel like I need to talk to you in order to make this happen. It was something that someone brought up in the comments of, I think, like, the first video of the series. I gotta, I gotta find an example, though, first. Ooh, I should, I can invest in skills. Oh, there's Lucky Dodger. It's just a thing that comes up sometimes. Oh, the opportunist is so awesome. I love having, having the opportunist. Hey, you still earn points just being out in battle. I thought you had to train. I like the idea that just being out there and fighting gets you there as well. Oh, everyone's resting anyways, so there's not a lot I could have could have done with it. Oh, it might still be sticking out right here. Yeah, you could, it's so weird and so hard to see, and I feel like you gotta squint and focus and really, like, stretch your mind a little bit. See how the eyes of the characters in this game are just kind of these open, blank circles there's no pupils or anything to keep an eye out for which like our brains are trained to look for eyes and pupils and things like that it's why we can so easily pick out faces and everything there is something hidden back here you can see swoopy outline of the hair this right here is the face sticking up behind the counter there's like half of an eye there's the eye that's kind of wrapping around the side of his head there's a character hiding down here if i click that a lost child this was something that totally existed in the original Swords and Souls game, was finding the lost children. And I thought it was so weird that that was something that they had dropped in this game, because I thought that was such a cool feature. I thought it was like a fun, neat little thing to play around with. I thought it was weird that it was lacking from this game. Turns out it's still here. They're just so much better at hiding this time around that I couldn't find it. Now, now, now I have to be looking for them everywhere, I have to be looking in like dark corners, I have to be looking in blurred out areas like that, where the, the colors basically entirely match, like I can, it, I can barely understand. Like it's so easy, easy to have missed that. And so I, I, I feel like I kind of need to explore the town a little bit and see if there's like one of these guys hiding the aquarium or, or silly things like that. And legitimately, I don't even know what they do, what they add to the game, what I get for finding them, other than it being like a trophy. Trophy, lost child, find the lost children, so easily forgotten, lured into an eternal playground. Ooh, this time they're not just lost as in missing. He's like some sort of spirit, or a, a soul. How do souls, because the characters of the game are souls, how do souls have souls? Maybe souls have spirits? There's a weird bit of lore that is suddenly going on there. The crown collection, I love that still. I don't know if I need to be looking for them in the background of battle maps. Here's one with a bowl cut hiding behind the boulders of the enemy thing. The, uh, an another lost child, so I guess they... Each individual one is going to have its own trophy. There's going to be like, I don't know, 8 or 10 or something along the bottom here. So they, they don't even have like unique... It wasn't a bowl cut. It just kind of looked like it behind the boulder. They don't even have like unique flavor texts. But there. There's, this is something I, I'm going to be keeping a much stronger eye out. Speaking of which, there's one hiding behind that house right there. I can't believe that I haven't seen this. Now that all of a sudden I'm keeping an eye out for it, it's like, oh, here's one, there's another one, there they are. Oh, of course. I, I just gotta keep checking. This one's barely even hidden. How did that ever fool me? All I had to do was like, look a little bit and I was gonna see that one. That's preposterous that I didn't see that before. You know, while I'm here, build me some dragon bone weapons. That sounds badass and I want that. Made ex exclusively with the bones of hunted animals. I was thinking it would be exclusively dragons. They were kind of cheaping out there a little bit. It's like trying to buy a wolf skin uh, gloves or something, and they're made out of rats. Fortunately, people have evolved since those dark times. Let me just real quick throw on the uh, the dragon heart sword. I'm still in love with the giant sword. I know I should mix it up a little bit. I can save that for some future playthrough I do on my own or something. TBD how I handle that. 
Are any of you hiding in or around my house? That would be very strange, but it's worth checking. Oh, I'll build one add-on to get the times five experience gain, just because I, I feel like that would feel very gratifying to have a nice round number there. Market. I see this guy hanging in the back. I think it's just a regular dude, though. Oh, here you are. They did a lot to, like, blend the colors. It's so strange that my eyes have, like, scanned back and forth across all of this and hidden right here in the middle of that. It's just a lost child. I think this is just, like, a, a little side achievement hunting thing. I, it doesn't seem to actually contribute anything to making me stronger or anything like that. So thank you to the, the lone commenter who, who made me aware of it. They were also very... Uh, careful to not just like spoil it. They just like were kind of informative and be like hey You know, maybe keep your eyes open a little bit and keep a lookout for children that might be hiding In plain sight there you are right on the mast of the ship now. I know that I can find them around this map. I Wonder if I can find them within battle maps like in the background of, of where I'm fighting There's another one sticking up behind that rock there how many of these are there? <laughs> I'm surprised how many I very suddenly have, have come across. Here's another guy hiding out on, on that little boardwalk area. How have I not seen any of these? Not a single one. This is insane. I've spent hours on this game. It makes me feel dumb, but I also like love it at the same time that it was somehow so difficult yet now seems so easy. I bet there's one at one of the fishing holes. Like, I thought they'd be hanging their head down from up in the tree or something, and then I could s snatch him, snatch him up from there. That first one that was pointed out in the comments, which the reason that one was pointed out is because my mouse was, like, hovering over it at one point, and the commenter was like, timestamp this, look closer at where your mouse is, or something like that. Uh... These other ones have been easier to spot than that. That one was like faded, discolored, and blurred, and it was by far the hardest one to see. The other ones I've come across, once you see them, it's like, oh, yes, of course, that first one was like borderline impossible. All right, that's enough hunting for these poor children. See, like, that's a pretty open area. That's the first time I fought a crab. I like him, he's silly. I'm, I'm digging I'm digging the design. He's he's very bulky Like he would be a level two or three of a Pokemon or, or, or something I guess it's the first time I've been on a beach at all Taking a bit of a vacay just kind of taking a bit of a break out here. Just trying to Trying to relax a little bit. It's been such a hard hard journey so far I just wanted to soak up the Sun and, and take it all in. Just rest and relaxation. Well, that was terribly timed. I gotta get a better feel for these crab attacks. A much, much better feel. They kind of come at you, then they wind up, and then there's like another slight pause before they actually go for their final punch there. And when they're just winding up a little fist rather than like any sort of proper uh, attack or like a weapon or whatever, it's it, it's weird to read. That was cool. That dodge, he jumped instead of, of sidestepping like he normally does. Like, I want to show that again. Uh, I guess it's just because of the specific type of attack that this character, this enemy does. Uh, but it makes it feel a little bit more like my training sessions have mattered. It's just kind of like a neat little trick from the game to make it feel like, oh, hey, look. All the different ways he's taught you and made you dodge, those, like, matter. They they actually have contributed in some way to making you uh, a stronger fighter. It's not just some, like, weird-ass game he likes to play. Or that the enemies in the world aren't so dumb that they only attack in one very specific way that involves you having to, to just sidestep a little bit. No one thinks to attack high or attack low or anything like that. Man, I, here I am talking about, like, oh, these different... These different uh, episodes go on for so long, and I, I'm, I'm also I'm digging the Turgon. It's a silly enemy. I like it. You should spend an arrow to get the the loop of it recharging going. Probably might as well 
just use one nice and early. That was lucky that that counted as a, a dodge at all. But here I am saying, ah, uh, episodes are, are so lengthy and everything, and th it takes so long to produce. Here I am just sailing through this chapter like nothing. Obviously I'm gonna hit some sort of roadblock here soon, and I'm, I'm gonna have to eat those words. But for now, things are looking grand. I'm killing it out here, you know? No worries whatsoever. Zubies holding up fine. Aw, oh, resisted. Maybe I can't use, like, fire-based attacks against these water enemies. I should definitely use the lightning then. This guy's even harder to read attack-wise than, than the, the crab was. The crab's a real pain in the ass. I'm gonna try and use lightning against this. Ah, uh, now he's pretty well dead anyways. But I, I would love to see the types of... Well, there, I was glad. I was glad that worked out that that was able to finish him off because it would have felt like a waste to use lightning on him when he was so close to dead. It didn't do that much damage anyways. I expected better. <sighs> I managed to get one off. Nice counter. I'm hoping that there's some sort of big sweet crab or turtle boss or something because I just think that would be very cool and I want to see that. I want to see like the fun design that they came up with for Super Crab. You're not the only one who can defend which, again, I should probably be doing that more often, like, without needing the prompting of being cornered. Oh, I, I've taken more damage during this than I thought I did. I, I guess I gotta be... I guess, well, I, I had so many poorly timed dodges and counters and everything like that, I should worry a little bit more. I'm gonna chuck a fireball at him once more. It literally can't. You, you like, can't do it, so that's kind of good to know for me. That I, I shouldn't waste my time trying to cast fireballs on this thing. Big Turgon! And it, it did, it's just, it's just a big guy. He's just a big turtle with a crazy amount of health, by the way. Jeez. Well, Zuby, nice knowing ya. I really gotta try and like... Oh, damn it. Damn it. Alright, well, I'm committing to dodges. Un unless it like absolutely comes down to it. Having the counters would be nice and everything, but I, I, I just need to, like, stay alive here. Shit. Ah, damn. I think I could maybe do that. Now, now I have a better feel for when to time my dodges and everything. I think I could probably do this. I don't know, this isn't going well either. It requires such precise reactions. See, that's like as good as I can get, and I still can't seem to quite pull it off. I can dodge the Turgons just fine, I, I just cannot seem to get the counter. I just have to clear my mind there. Oh man, you have to be really locked in. I feel like it's way easier than rather than trying to learn the timing, which I, I was trying to do this before too, just like very precisely, exactly watch the timing of it and wait for that like forward motion but here I am now I've, I've burned through all my uh, my counters and everything so that's not very good going into the last little section here uh, and I, I'm, I'm toast anyways probably need to go train up a little bit before before taking this on but yeah that's oof, that's a tough one it's it's very difficult let's see how much camp upgrading I am able to do Buy a new little set of leaves. Oh, and that's it. And is there a lost child in this camp somewhere? I thought there would be for sure. All right, before I go spending all the, the spare stuff I have to be spent, I would love, love, love to try and rank these up to gold so that I'm not lagging behind when it comes to the more difficult things when I go up to like platinum or whatever it's going to end up being. Oh, right, there's this thing that I don't know if I just got a better feel for or if because it's happening very slowly currently or what the deal is with that. It's poorly, poorly done there. Uh, or, or if they actually, like, updated it a little bit. I, I heard them say that they were thinking about updating it. Like, they, they mentioned in response to my last video where I was waking out and having insane difficulties with it that they were thinking about making it 
so that until you've kind of mastered it, which I'm not sure what the, the landmark will be for mastering it, but that they would make it more likely to come up early like that. So before things get out of control fast, because that's what would be killing me before. I'd be at like a chain of a hundred and then all of a sudden those guys would show up and I would just get schooled. And so if it introduces it to me nice and slow until I've cleared it, until I've advanced from uh, gold or whatever, then that's that's like that's totally the like necessary change that I needed to be able to, I think, improve and, and master it properly. So I think they probably did that with other mini games as well, that whatever the new mechanic is, it's going to throw it at you earlier than it did before more often. Oh god, my hand is like crampy today. More so than usual while doing this. It worries me a little bit of how effective I'll be as a, as a trainer. Oh god, ah, I was so close to having the next medal. I'd rather not drag this out seeing as my, my fingers aren't cooperating super well. The more times I do it, probably the worse I'm going to get at it. This one seems to be more likely to mess me up now than the uh, the uh, puppet attacking one has been. Jesus. Do you know what? I can switch to my right hand. I'm a chump using my left for all this. Okay, maybe I gotta like calibrate a little bit. All of my prior practicing has been with my left hand, but I just assume my left hand is terrible at everything, so I'll just, I'll just work with my right for a little while. There's no need for both hands to be on the keyboard. I can't believe I didn't think to do this sooner. This feels great. This is how I'm gonna cross that next threshold there. This is what was lacking in my, my training regiment. Oh yeah! Feel the rhythm! Let it flow through you. Nothing can stop me now. Legit though, I feel like I'm crushing it and it's awesome. Oh, 390. 390. Damn, son. Well, that's all of the, the separate gold missions completed. I'm probably getting quite near leveling up beyond gold. I'm it'll be close. It'll be close. Plus 25 with with each bar fill up is is like really great. That should go a long ways. Nice. Platinum. It is platinum. It makes sense. Uh this is strange. There oh, okay, just hadn't stamped them in just yet. Nice. God, I'm so strong. I'm so good at this. <laughs> ah, two points to invest. Sick. Oh, using... I, I, I love this move. I use this guy all the time, so now I can finally get it down to the, the minimum possible cooldown. Mm, enraged. Chance to become strong when health is below 25%. I might as well put one into it. It's a very low percentage chance. But all these things that look like they're low percentage always seem to come up more often than I expect that they would. I specifically just need to get the star... No, no, I don't. What do I need? Okay, I, I just need to run through the, the random task thing a few times. That's fine. God, this precision with the mouse is even cramping my hand up a bit. What did I do to myself? Why do I feel like such an old bastard who just can't seem to do anything today? Damn it, this star combo one is killing me. I just keep barely losing it. Oh, these long range ones are tough. Damn it, and then I fucked it up on this, this short one. Oh, I, I literally, it, it, I had to get up to 27, I think, and I think I lost the combo at 28. Damn, that was frustrating though. Oh, and that completes that medal as well. I'm I'm tapping out of that immediately. Seeing how far most of these were along, how close they were to leveling up to platinum, it makes me think that the previous episode was so long. Because I, I the previous pair of episodes, because I must have put an above average amount of time into the training. Because it's like not taking that that much extra time to get it up to, to platinum. 
Chance to shoot a fire arrow and throw confusing projectiles. So it, it could be either or. That seems very worth my time investing in. Ooh, decrease cooldown by another 0.08 seconds. It doesn't seem like a ton, but I use that a lot. I think I just keep carrying on with the, the training here. Oh no, <laughs> I just barely missed that little smoke ring there. Dang, son. S sucks. Very specifically trying to get the, the gold star accomplishment currently. <laughs> That's a tricky one. Oh yeah, I like this. Just dish out a bunch of gold stars all at once. That gives me less to have to worry about. It's like that many fewer rounds I have to live through. Oh, that was such a hard star to, to get to at time. Shit. It's tough. I didn't think 30 sounded like a lot, but not every individual one of these, like this one, doesn't come with a star. So you end up having to do more than 30 usually. Oh, I feel like I need to stretch my wrist. I'm getting so close on some of these and close in like a bad way, close to failing. Ah! My damn wrist is so tight right now. It's hard to make these precise little movements that are necessary. Come on, dish me out one of those rounds that's just a bunch of stars where I don't actually have to do anything, don't have to think about it. No, not a no star round, the nothing but star round. That's what I truly need. No! <laughs> Oh yeah, I wasn't letting that rob me. Ah, oh god, didn't even care, didn't matter. That was what I needed. Oh, I'm pretty sure to get up to platinum, I have to do the the random challenges up to 60. I might as well try and keep like combos going as much as possible, so that when I do the ones that kind of force you to to stop and I don't know, slow down is the right way to look at it, but like. They kind of force it that you can't just have been lucky enough to already be in the middle of a combo. But then, then you get those freebie ones where if you have managed to keep a combo up. See, this one is just get 26 stars. It's not get 26 in a row or anything like that. Oh, now that the pressure's off, I'm like very easily crossing over into that 30 star requirement. But it, it forces you to not be able to just capitalize on the fact that you weren't just already running some massive combo. It's very cleverly done. Oh, that sucks because I'm pretty sure I did hit everything there, like, kind of technically. It just, but it cut it off just that second before. Yeah, because otherwise you could just be on some big runaway combo and then the, the different things would be like, have a star combo, have a, have a regular combo, have a no mistake combo or whatever. And it would just have to give you all of them at once because you're already doing so well. So it's a clever bit of design to, to break them up in a way that makes it so you can't kind of cheese the system a little bit by just doing really well once. Make no mistake for X amount of seconds kind of uh, accomplishes the same thing. It's either get X stars, no mistake for X seconds, or like get a stat up thing, filling up that bar at the top a certain number of times. All of those kind of force a, a slowdown. So now let's see what the next one is. Reach a star combo of 14, I already had it, so you just get it. Now it's an increased stats one that got to slow down again. But it's the 60th one, so it should be the last one. Perfect, that's the end of the soul on one. I probably won't roll around to platinum. That counted for so much more than I thought it would. <laughs> I uh, I didn't realize I had put in that much time to that just now. It wasn't it wasn't that long. I guess it was just uh, efficient, or I was I don't know. Somehow it's the highest level one all of a sudden now. Oh, I'm for sure gonna level up to like a hundred when I by the time I complete leveling all these up. I'm quite a few away from the random stats thing, gotta get 50 stars. The defense one is almost the one I freak out about the l least, because pretty much just by doing well, you gain the stars, so you don't have to think about it too, too much. They just kind of come automatically. Getting a combo pretty much just means, yeah, you also get stars, so just kind of keep it up. Of course, as soon as I say it, it starts throwing slightly more complicated patterns at me that don't quite work that way and super are stressing me out right now. Oh, baby. Okay, 
hell of a combo. Very ridiculously overwhelming right now. Ah! Oh, those fast ones come in and really, really throw it all off. Glad I got that star combo one out of the way so, so early though. It kind of, uh, takes a weight off knowing that that's already been achieved. Oh, look at that combo grow. This is, uh, about where I, I kind of flubbed it last time. Oh, I think I had a better star combo, but a lower regular combo that time around, so... I guess it just threw more stars at me there. And with that, that completes everything from the gold rank. Moving right along. This might become my new highest leveled one. Because that went on for quite a while. <laughs> I thought it would be by something more substantial than 50. Highest leveled one by 50? That's hilarious. Like 97 and 2 thirds. Leveling this up should get me there. Damn. Ah, I'm really lacking in this one overall, though. At least I can I can play around with the strategy of uh, introducing my right hand. Hey, I just realized I never actually switched out to Dragon Shield, I don't think. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't with the, um, the, the, that giant sword. I can pretty consistently get stars now in a way that I maybe haven't really been very good at before, but it's not getting me... <laughs> I forgot what he does after that spin move. Uh, but I just... I can't do it, like, infinitely. Uh, there's always a mistake, like, eventually. And believe me, it's way before 30 and way before 120. It's funny, I... I Having recently done that uh, flashlight video, I kind of had to go back and and look at the old old footage and everything of the the original Swords and Souls. Man, did they ever make the mini games like in the training mini games? I mean, like infinitely more fun than that first game. And I I enjoyed them in the first game. They were they were good for what they were and everything. But man, there's so much more skill and variety and so much more going on here. It's just so much more polished. It's funny going back, because try, trying to replay that game, it, it feels almost unplayable in comparison. <laughs> the mini games are just so repetitive and just like, just nowhere near as polished. So good job to the, the Soul Games team for managing to like, make that level of improvement. It's really awesome. I may not, I may not get the, uh, the combos and everything like I'm trying to, but I, I should stick with this a little bit and try and level it up as much as I can so I don't have to spend all of my spare, like, skill points, uh, purely in agility. If I can spread them around a little more evenly, then I think that'll be for the best. Sure, maybe I'll have a, a permanent, like, lack of of skill upgrades like I'm not gonna level these individual metals up to, to platinum or anything like that but at the very least I I can I can make sure as a whole <laughs> that was very handy for me that the stat stays stays consistent with everything else without having to just strictly invest in everything hey I, I did enough random random style uh, things to to, to earn an additional medal. Damn it, then I go ahead and break the combo again. No, 86 and 20. That's gotta be like some of the best I've, I've had. It's the best I've had today at least. It was the closest I've had to obtaining either of those. Yeah, so it's not to say I'm not trying. Like I'm trying to get stars, I'm trying to get combos, I'm just bad at it. The spin moves are what throw me off the worst, because he, he doesn't always do the spin for the exact same amount of time. See, that one he held a little bit longer than he, than he often does, and so it's totally like a reactionary thing, which is what it's trying to do. It's trying to train you in agility, and like, that totally messes me up. Spin move incoming, damn you, aw, oh, breaking my star combo again. Oh, he's going fast. I hate how quickly he responds when you have to do the attack thing where you kind of press forward. He react like he attacks you again so quickly after that it's it's quite a lot to react to. You're kind of reacting to two things at once almost. Nice. I completed 
completed the combo thing, which felt super out of my reach. The, uh... Getting the stars is the one I consistently just can't seem to do, though. That one's lacking, like, a few levels behind. It's still stuck on bronze or silver or something crazy like that. Damn it, 22! Alright, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna lock in, I'm gonna be focused. See, I get, like, 22, and I get, like, 10. Just put those together. Just don't make a- just don't make a one single mistake in between that. Just keep that chain going. Those singular mistakes really- really break that combo and really ruin my day, you know? Oh, he's speeding up a little bit and it starts to wig me out. Ah, I might as well let the combo get ruined so I can slow him back down again, you know? Uh, but I see now that the bottom thing is no mistake for 33 seconds. So if I'm- if I'm on a streak where I'm getting close to that, I might as well finish that off, even if I break the star combo. Whatever. I'm bad at everything. This- this minigame really makes me just feel like such an utter failure. Now it's suddenly been ages since I've gotten better than like an 8 combo. There I did- I screwed it up on an 8 again, I jinxed it. No! I felt so locked in. That was looking really good. 21 again. There's something about that low 20 threshold that I just can't seem to, to break. Even though it's slower going overall, I always end up having to commit more time to this one than average. And then all of a sudden, I, I have ended up like leveling it up to platinum just by grinding it out. It, it, it's slower going, but I, it, for that same exact reason, I end up having to put in more time so the stat bar increases are slower, but I put more time and it kind of evens out a little bit. I'm gonna tap out of this after having put in, like, an above average amount of time into it, and I, I will have increased to platinum, maybe? Like, it seems to kind of work out that way quite often. 20, 20 again, like the 15th time I've made it to 20. It's a good thing I edit the hell out of these episodes, or else there would just now and again be a 20 minute episode of me doing one particular trading thing, like just trading agility, not even, like, an episode of me spending a, a chunk of time doing nothing but the various trading things is basically what happens already anyways, but if this wasn't edited, it would just be me here failing at this repeatedly over and over, and it would just be, just be so painful to watch. I'm tempted to cover up the part of the screen that actually shows me what my combo is at, because I feel like there's a part of my peripheral vision that wants to glance at it and see how close I am, and maybe, maybe that breaks my rhythm, maybe I need to be much more locked in than that. 22 pieces shit, I'm going on a coffee break. Damn, there was less left in the pot than I had hoped, this is only like a half cup. That's very disappointing and demoralizing. <laughs> I'm hoping taking a, a break from it gives me a little bit of like a brain reset and then I, I come at it fresh. 21! Oh, when I inevitably break a chain at like 29, I'm gonna be so disappointed. Hey, I completed the random task thing now. That's uh, that's something. 23! Far out. I'm doing it. I'm putting a sticky note on the screen because I seem to be unable to not look at it. Now there's a temptation in my brain to just count it in my head. Ignore that. Fight it. Just, just play. Don't think. I didn't know it was possible to get so in my own head over something like this. I don't know what combo I just broke there, but I bet it was good. There's a perfect zen balance here, where you can't overthink it or underthink it. If I overthink it, then it delays my responses. If I, like, uh, underthink it, then I'm too fast or whatever. Like, it just... Oh, it takes a perfect exact balance that I seem to only be able to maintain for about a streak of 20. Too high of a percentage of this video is gonna be on this one challenge. I really gotta... I, I gotta move on here. I'm gonna sail past, past Platinum with the amount of time that I've suddenly sunk into this. Yes! Holy shit! That was it! I did it! 
Keep the streak going. Oh man, what was that at? 36. I had to flick the, I had to flick it off the screen really quick. Get bent agility challenge. Damn, that's gonna be the highest ranked one now. That's how I keep that. Like I said, it's how it keeps happening. Regain a portion of your health. Heal a totally new skill. 12 turn cooldown. It's a very, very long cooldown. <laughs> it sailed through so far there. What? I leveled that all the way up to gold? I didn't realize that. Oh, that's a relief. It's like caught up to where it should be. Sailing past level 100 because I put way too much time into that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at it go. I'm gonna have so many stats to invest, it's not even funny. 108, it's gonna slow down there. I don't think we're gonna, nope, just barely 109. Oh, that was like 12 levels or something. How many, how many things? I got nine skills to invest and I have fucking, oh God, that's so much more than I thought I was gonna be. 26,000 stat points to invest. Ooh, okay, let's let's invest that equitably. Let's spread around like 5,000 per. Maybe not in agility though. Maybe I just split it between the four. Everyone gets about like 8,000. Everyone would then be around 30,000. I feel like that's probably how I'll end up breaking it down. So this is all new then. Absorber, chance to refresh a sorcery active skill upon a super crit with a staff. I don't use a staff, but there is really cool like staff sorcery centric builds that you can achieve here. Reduces incoming damage. Oh, it's just a shield. It would make the protection of the shield slightly better. Whatever, I'll invest one in that. Altruist, chance that allies benefit from your heal and shield skills. That's really useful. And the healing thing, uh, just make my heal regain stronger. I'll make enrage more likely to happen. Opportunist is really great. Poison arrow odds up. Increase damage of block counter. Increase. What what else can I what else can I increase here? Mm, chance to not consume a dodge is like crazy useful. I'll definitely go with that. And now I'm going to stick approximately 8,000 in everything. Oh, I, I really have to like, I have to actually manually click it. You just can't, you can't just click and hold. I guess people don't want to accidentally spend all their points in one place if they only have like a small amount of points that need distributing. <laughs> At the start of this episode, I was sitting on like 10,000 points. Now, now I'm like back down to that and I've just invested so much it's insane it's stupid really oh I did that math really poorly eight like eight into 24 would have been only across three I should have done six thousand into each that's fine I'll, I'll just kind of balance these out a little bit and and my attack focus things will just be a little bit stronger overall D dumb poor math but there, there. I'm not sitting on some intimidating mountain of points. We can venture out and just go kick the living shit out of everything now. Hopefully, probably. Well, you guys know the drill. Halfway point in the chapter. It's where I'm putting the split in the episode here. I'm going to record the rest at the same time here so it won't be too long of a wait for the next video to be ready. It'll, it'll be coming down the pipeline soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you again soon. <laughs> Speaking of soon.